I recently took a trip to Durdle Door and found a seal on the beach. At first, we thought it was dead. No. But it was alive. It had been given a second chance. And I got some fantastic footage of it in crisp, clean 4K 60fps. I lovingly condensed the footage down, edited it together, and painstakingly uploaded it to YouTube. And then I plastered it with an AI-generated thumbnail. I struggle to explain why I chose an AI-generated thumbnail for what's clearly a much better video than the AI thumbnail suggests. I didn't do it for views, it was more as a statement on AI. Because AI-generated thumbnails are often used to make shoddy content seem more appealing. But what if it could be used for the opposite? So that's the best way I can describe for why I did it. It's like a Betteridge's Law of Headlines, where if a title features a question, then you know that the answer is always a no, because otherwise they could have come up with a more appealing title to name it as. So yeah, I did have a lot of fun AI generating really stupid looking images of children riding seals, but it highlighted something else important to me, and that was that Microsoft had finally upgraded their photo generating capabilities. It takes a bit longer to create each image now, but it seems remarkably robust at all kinds of scenarios. I was using it to generate logos, and it was even making the backgrounds transparent, and rather consistently too. So I decided to put it to the test, because a few years ago I used my bedroom as a challenge for early AI photo generators, because it turned out back then AI couldn't generate an image of a bed up vertically against a wall. It just couldn't do it. It was like this vertical slice of bed pie was a Turing test that separated me from machine, as though my very existence was unfathomable to artificial and official intelligence alike. Every time somebody accused me of being AI generated, or faking something in some way, I could simply point them to this bit of furniture as proof that I'm a real human being. Oh, how they all thought I was crazy. But who's crazy now? Anyway, I put this new image generator to the test, requesting a view of Plymouth out of the window, and it managed the request brilliantly. Oh no, I might be AI after all, but with this new model proving to be more robust, I decided to put it to the test. What if I told it to enhance a bit of this image? And with that, it's given an impossible challenge. If it merely upscales, then it has no imagination. But if it re-envisions and changes the image, then it's failed at the upscaling part. I think it struck a decent middle ground by framing the second image it generated from the window and by enhancing the view beyond it. What I was impressed about was that it remembered that this was meant to be Plymouth and it actually added more Plymouth landmarks into this second image, meaning that it was still remembering the original prompt and using that to generate the images in the second image it generated. Some things had changed, I mean the window had lost its central frame and the lighthouse didn't previously exist at all, but on the plus side it's now definitely an image of Plymouth. So I got it to enhance this image again, focusing between the church and the lighthouse. And it did it, now clearly depicting a church from Plymouth and the iconic Smeaton's Tower that's by the waterfront. So I asked it to zoom in again, this time into a ship. This is where it started to mess up a bit because it opened the sails, but then the rest of the image remained pretty faithful and it's kind of cool that it knows it's a ship that it can open the sails on. So anyway, I got it to zoom into the people and no, bad AI. I cancelled this before it was done, scolded it for changing the scene too much, and told it to recreate the same sort of theme as it had done in the image before the one it had just generated. And it did it. At this point I've kind of lost a bit of faith in it being able to come up with new features for itself, and I just told it to re-envision that image but with them kissing, which it refused to do. It refused cuddling, it refused huddling up for warmth, it refused to envision them stood closer to each other with their arms gripping around each other, and then it refused a close-up of an ear. I think the AI had blacklisted me. So I returned to the drawing board. I wanted to see what AI could do if just told to zoom into the same bit of a picture over and over again. But I didn't like the way that it upscaled it by adding weird highlights onto everything as though it had all been over sharpened. So I redid the second prompt based on what I had learned. This time the prompt was pretty much keep the image the same but zoom in but keep things the same but ensure that things are kept the same but also zoom in. Every time it zoomed in, it didn't keep everything perfectly, but there was enough overlap between the renditions for me to feel confident showing you this time lapse of images it generated. But eventually, even this prompt started breaking down. It wasn't adding new stuff, it was merely zooming in and simplifying and becoming increasingly abstract and artificial looking. 
this could be a limitation with AI having no imagination. Or it could just be that my prompt, insisting it kept the contents the same, making it difficult for it to try and add anything new to it. So anyway, I zoomed into this level, thought this was close enough now, and returned to the drawing board for an even more improved prompt. Notice something else about this image sequence. If I quickly zoom in and out between all the versions, you can see that the colours all converge on a dull browny red. I suspect this is from biases within the training data, or maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. But I started on my third prompt, with an even better revised request. This time I told AI to imagine a road leading from a town into the wilderness. Once I generated this image, I then told it to move 100 yards down the road and to re-envision what it would look like from there, keeping the environment the same but moving time on by an hour. I thought that by requesting this it would also stop it from becoming a horrible murky greeny brown colour. And this is what happened as I repeated the prompt over and over again. At first I really liked this, that distant mountain remained so consistent between the images that I imagined that I'd eventually reach it, provided I generated enough different pictures. All was going well until it hit night time and then it kept telling me it couldn't do my request, but then it would do it anyway, filling the scene with more and more fog every time. So eventually I just had to change the prompt to be like, look this is just getting silly, remove the fog and be serious again. And as if in a puff of smoke, the distant mountain was gone and the whole thing was in a silly cartoonish style when compared with the original image. So I got it to do a photorealistic one to end with and then stopped this request here. I don't like the concept that AI isn't creative. It's kind of impossible to prove it one way or the other. All I can say is that AI tends to surprise me every time in some way which I think requires a bit of creativity. But I get that the general idea for it not having creativity is that because it's only trained on existing content that it isn't capable of new stuff. I'd argue that we humans are the same, we are the product of our upbringings and our environments and the people we hang out with, and if all we watch when growing up are westerns and we're told to make a movie of our own, it would very likely be a western as well. It's not that we lack imagination, it's just we have a limited concept of what imagination is. I would imagine that most techie people who have been following the hardware and software scene for over five years will already be very impressed with what AI is doing, when compared with the previous hard-coded methods. Who's to say that their current limitations aren't from our own limited imaginations and skill when training them in the first place, or even when just coming up with the prompts to drive their behaviour right now? I simply cannot comprehend it not continuing to improve and to surprise us in the years going forward. For now I just got AI to generate an art gallery. It soon became apparent that it wanted to re-envision the same things over and over again, the same number of things on the walls and the same sort of art as well. And no matter what my prompt said, it just seemed to want to do the same thing. Then I had an idea. Simply by having it try to create a random number, it might make the outputs more diverse. Although what it really meant was that it just added the number it had thought up into the artwork somewhere. But it does look like it's received some kind of update since I made those first images, as it no longer shows the number that it's generating, but it has some weird fixation for cities on the backs of animals. The best way I can describe AI right now is that it's kind of like a monkey paw, where any measures you try to put in place to avoid the problems you had with it previously will work against you in some new, imaginative and malicious kind of way. If you want consistent results, it'll give you that but it's kind of boring, but if you want random, it'll go so wild with that that it only complies with your request in the vaguest kind of way. So in a way it's like a human artist, where it likes to draw different things but in a similar style, whereas I'd imagine a different AI model would like to draw consistently in another style, just like a different human would if given the same request. And then I asked it to create a self-explanatory image depicting a powerful human emotion and it just kept generating images of adults and children crying together. Not very creative. Since it thinks emotion equals sad, I asked for a random emotion every time, and it still just depicted a bunch of people in quite generic scenarios, but at least displaying different emotions this time. I still class this as a failure, that is, until I downloaded these images and I checked the file names. And here I discovered that, while all the images look very similar, their file names were very different from one another, containing an assortment of vivid and diverse scenarios which weren't anything to do with the image they were attached to. Too. So it was simple, I simply copy pasted those file names into the photo generator and I finally got what I wanted. A diverse array of different scenarios showing different emotions and situations. Although some would argue that this isn't imagination, and that it's still merely following instructions. It's doomed to fail, because our expectations for it keep changing. Is AI limitless? Not yet. Is it flawless? Not yet. I think that's why I still enjoy investigating this topic so much, because it is fun to challenge it and to see where it succeeds and where it fails, and to discover how much of a difference my inputs can make to its outputs. 
but once AI becomes good enough, I do wonder, and kind of fear, that it will lose its appeal as it becomes just another tool we can rely on to get stuff done. Right now it is still developing rapidly and has surpassed so many barriers that people previously used to dismiss the entire thing, like being able to generate text, fingers and vertical mattresses. And I see no signs that this development is going to slow down anytime soon. I know I upset people by making these sorts of videos about AI, as though my positive tone throughout means I'm in support of AI like me not talking about it is going to make it go away. But analysing what AI is capable of, like I've done in this video, and discussing its implications on humanity, I think are two very separate topics. So I'll save my conclusion about this one for another time. Because why put a dampener on the end of this video? I've got a conclusion that I've been rewriting for three days at this point, and it's become such a serious and depressing topic, I think it's best left as its own video. But long story short, our current outrage against AI is misplaced, it's not going anywhere and we need to discuss ways to implement it into our lives for the betterment of humanity, because it sure as hell ain't going that way at the moment. But I still enjoy making these kinds of videos about it.